state leaders as Education Commissioner Jeffrey C. Riley asked the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education to grant him authority to mandate masks in public schools. Western Mass News reporter Kaylee Puglias joins us live in studio with more. Kaylee. Well, Chris and Jordan, this mandate would go for all students and school staff and K through 12 public schools through October 1st for a safe return back to the classroom. After October 1st, middle and high schools will lift or could lift that mask mandate for vaccinated students and staff, but that's only if the school meets a vaccination rate of at least 80%. Unvaccinated students and staff will still need to wear masks. Now, it's also important to note that the mandate will include exemptions for students who can't mask up for medical or behavioral needs. Recently, the town of East Longmeadow decided not to mandate masks in schools, but many parents have been pushing back. Parent Kevin Manley tells Western Mass News he hopes Commissioner Riley is granted this authority. I'm going to wear a mask to keep other people safe and keep myself safe. It's no different than wearing a seatbelt in my car. I get in the car, the government tells me I have to wear a seatbelt. If I don't, I get pulled over and get a ticket. There's no reason why we shouldn't be wearing a mask to start the school year. Coming up at 6 on Western Mass News, hear from the mayor of Aguam on his thoughts about all of this. But for now, live in studio, I'm Kaylee Puglis for Western Mass News.